Hello, my name is Keaton Adams. I am an advisory data engineer with Pivotal. In this session, we will review the table compression options available in Greenplum Database. So why be concerned about compressing table data in an MPP database such as Greenplum? Even though the cost of storage continues to decline and new storage options emerge, such as storing big data in the cloud, analysts predict a steady rise in the amount of data generated over the coming years with the need to capture and analyze these ever-expanding datasets in order to maintain a competitive edge in the marketplace. Having the ability to store data as efficiently as possible remains a key concern for data architects and database administrators, whether their deployment is on-premises or in the public cloud. With the advanced table compression options available in Greenplum Database, customers can maximize their deployment dollars no matter where they choose to operate their analytical data warehouse. Greenplum is a fast and flexible data management system, which retains its competitive edge on dedicated hardware, a private cloud environment such as VMware, and on all major public cloud platforms. Pivotal Greenplum's table compression is highly effective with both row and column oriented tables. In Greenplum, the data architect can utilize row oriented tables to maintain a high level of performance when the entire row or the majority of the columns in the row are always included in the select statement or DML operation. For a large fact table with potentially hundreds of columns, where the majority of the queries aggregate and select over a smaller number of columns in the table, the data architect can use column orientation for the table definition. Flexibility with the storage model increases as the various table types are used to create individual partitions in a large table in the database. A single table can have logical partitions that are row oriented, as well as column oriented, and even external, which point to outside data sources to be considered by the query optimizer to be potentially included in a query's result set. Pivotal Greenplum provides two basic table types, heap and append optimized. Heap is the original Postgres table storage type, ideally suited for single insert, update, and delete operations. It is also the default storage model in Greenplum, which offers no compression options. The append optimized table storage model is ideal for most data sets stored in the database, where ETL jobs bulk load the data into tables, and once loaded, the data rarely, if ever, changes. This table type offers a wide range of compression options. For row-oriented tables, QuickLZ and Zlib compression are available. For column-oriented tables, there is also the option of compressing data on a per-column basis, and run-length encoding can be used to compact column values. Okay, for this demo, a copy of a table is used that contains over 1.1 billion rows of data, and in its uncompressed format consumes 303 gigabytes on disk. In this case, the table is just our standard heap table. So here you see the row count from the PG relation size function. Uh, it comes up 303 gigabytes. And when I use a GP toolkit view called GP size of table uncompressed, it also shows a size on disk of 303 gigabytes. So now I'll create a series of append optimized tables. And let's have a look at the table types here. So I create a table like the browsing history table with different options. So the first one is an append optimized or what's labeled as append only also means append optimized table that is just quick LZ compression. So we'll start with that. We'll create a second table like the browsing history table this time we're going to use the Zlib compression option with compress level five. It's about middle of the road. Then we'll create another table. This time it's a column oriented table with a quick LZ compression. Then we'll do another uh, append optimized table, column oriented, Zlib, compress level five. We can also, when we have a column oriented table like we have here, 
We could also use run length encoding and even compress that down further. So in this example, it's column oriented, quick LZ, run length encoded. And I've identified a few different columns that can benefit from run length encoding of their values. And then once it's encoded, we'll go ahead and compress that down as well. And so these columns in the table will be run length encoded as well as compressed. And one final table, <coughs> table definition uses the same column orientation, zlib5, run length encoding, just to so show the difference between uh, co combining different compression types from uh, one table to another or one partition to another. And again, this is column oriented. When I look at the values I'm uh, using run length encoding on, Again, there's 1.1 billion rows in the table for a specific column like auth code. There is seven values, uh, distinct values in the table. There's other columns that are just true false. And then since I have those together, when I go to actually insert into these run length encoded column oriented tables and I pull from browsing history, I'm actually going to pull that in sorted order to help the run length encoding maximize the work that it tries to do. So in my insert script, for most of the tables, I'll just do a straight insert into select star from, and then for the run length encoded tables that I want the data ordered as it's going into the table definition, I'm gonna order by my uh, four columns that have run length encoding enabled on them. So I'll start the load jobs and then resume the video once they're complete. Okay, so all of the append optimized tables now have the same data set loaded. So we'll run this check size SQL script that produces the total relation size for each one of these tables. So from the output, you can see the original heap table at 303 gigabytes, append only row oriented quick LZ, drops it to nearly half, 120, actually more than half, 129 gigabytes. And then it continues to, to get more compressed from there. So when I use Zlib level five compression, 101 gigabytes, I switch to column oriented quick LZ and in column oriented, every column independently is compressed with the same values or with that column's values. That shrinks the table size down to 79 gigabytes. When I do a combination of quick LZ with run length encoding on those columns, it removed even more space down to 74 gigabytes. Append only column oriented uh, Zlib level five. We're all the way down to 55 gigabytes now for the same data set. And the most compression in the example is append optimized column oriented Zlib5 with those run length encoded columns. That 303 gigabyte table now fits in 51 gigabytes of space. So in summary, to maximize table storage in a Greenplum database, consider using append optimized tables with one of the many available compression options. The higher the compression level, Generally, the more CPU resources are required to compress and decompress the data. So it would be a good idea to do some performance tests on the various levels to determine the optimum mix of compression and performance for your analytical data warehouse. Using the most aggressive level of compression on the browsing history data, column-oriented Zlib level 5 with run length encoding, the data on disk now consumes 83% less space. To learn more about optimizing table storage in Greenplum Database, visit the sites listed here. Thank you.